a high-profile tournament in preparation for a high-profile event. The decision to award the Under-17 Women's World Cup to India has led to these four top teams competing among themselves in a tournament that will go a long way in helping India's new coach, Thomas Denneby, to choose the best side. We saw yesterday that the Hero Under-17 Women's Championship had the Lioness and the Tigresses win on the opening day. The latter are in action for the first match against the Panthers as we continue with the Hero Under-17 Women's Championship. Amisha. Oh, interesting ball for Anju. Can she keep her composure? Yes, she can. And it's in the back of the net for 1-0. The Tigresses take the lead. Absolutely. Build up. Great build up there from behind. If you look at them, they exactly knew what they were doing over there. Right from the midfield as the ball crossed off. And then a diagonal pass, getting cutting the entire defense and Anju. 15 minutes down, gone. Down, down, down. Anju, the scorer, she's on the ball right now. Chance for a cross, she's good in these situations. Oh, and if the touch was slightly more assured, that would have been a spectacular goal. Neetu, Aveka. Need to once more from distance, and it's a goal, and it's a fantastic strike. 30 yards out, and the diminutive midfielder makes it count. We talk about teamwork, this is what it is, and that's the smiles on the face. Need to does fantastic there. Martina spread out wide. Amisha is waiting straight into the diagonal direction. Here's the cross in, very inviting, and it's a goal. And what a fine goal that is. Anju again on the scoreline, a brace for her and probably more to come. Yeah, that combination is working from the midfield to the wings and then to the striking zone. What a fantastic uh, build up there once again. Back to Aveka, solid challenge. And Gladys has to quickly turn. Anju for the hat trick and it's fingertips and over. She's like a well oiled machine, you know. And lots more on uh, this tournament and what's coming up as you can go on womensfootballindia.com for that as of now it's half time between the tigresses and the panthers priya pv's team leading by three goals to nothing and they won day before yesterday as well in their first game undoing the cheetahs amisha amisha speeding past everybody what a goal what a strike and such confidence in the youngsters priya pv's team have put on a show 4-0 now to the tigresses and the player who scored for india in the saf under 15 gets one more in the tournament to go forward like this amisha this time from the opposite end karen is waiting oh it's gonna be easy so easy and that's goal number five and it was straight off the training ground. Three passes, that's it. Absolutely brilliant, I would say. It's so delightful to watch this goal. It stretched from the right to the left, the entire ground. Oh, lovely turn from Siami. Get a shot on goal, come on. Probably now. And it's a goal, and it's a fine goal. Finally, the Panthers. And Siami twists and turns, and eventually Sri Lakshmi runs onto it. What a neat first time finish. Protect. And it's really good to see them smile. Absolutely brilliant. You know, you do that work time and again, try to get into the opponent's half. And this, a brilliant turnover there. Actually, tries to get a shot at the goal. Couldn't connect very well. But look at Sri Lakshmi. She cuts up behind from a left footer. What a strike that is. The goalkeeper has got no answer for that. Uh oh, Siami could get in once more. Chip it. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. And finally, she's getting the due that she deserves. We always talk to, talked about her. She's going to be a thorn there, and exactly that. And she gets the applause from her coach, Shiva Chakravarti. What a brilliant run that was. Kept on going. Allowed the defender to make a mistake. Comes in between the ball and the defender. The goalkeeper is at the mercy. Produced that fantastic through ball from which Karen eventually scored. Full time then, and Tigresses win 5 2. Seven goals in this game. Six goals on day one, and we still have another 90 minutes to go. But Priya PV and her staff are very impressed with what they have seen. Whatever plans they had, it seems to be working for them.